So at the end of last year I released a video named Real Images from the Solar System. I did not expect it to get a lot of views because contrary to the animations I do normally, this was just a slideshow of some real pictures we got of the objects in our solar system. It took me some time to collect them as there are also a lot of fake ones. But some of these images I knew already from books going to the library in a time where hardly anyone had a computer. While I am very surprised the video getting over a million views by now, it also introduced me to the wonderful world of conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theorists have been around for a long time. They seem to have a considerable amount of people following them. They are not so much interested in the truth than to confirm their beliefs or to provoke. If you think about it, if somebody calls himself a flat earther, it is like admitting he is not interested in the truth. The search for the truth should not have a preconception. I don't care about the shape of the earth, I just want to know what is true. Anyway, while sometimes there is no way of having a rational discussion, there are some having a specific good question. So here are the most frequent ones answered. The sun is actually white, why is it shown in any other color? While the sun can look yellow or red due to our atmosphere, it is indeed white. White is a mixture of all visible wavelengths. But what is shown here is just a specific wavelength outside of the visible spectrum. An arbitrary color must be selected to tell them apart. To show it in white would be wrong either. We just cannot see ultraviolet like bees or infrared like snakes. But technology can make us peek outside. We just have to use different colors for it. Like in an infrared image. These parts are not really blue or red. We are just selecting visible colors for this purpose. We can also see the awesome solar flares in the ultraviolet spectrum. While the sun in the visible spectrum just looks like this if a regular filter is used. Contrary to a lot of people, scientists are aware that the visible spectrum is just a small part of reality. Why are there no stars in the background? It has to do with exposure. Next to a sunlit planetary surface, the light of the stars is too faint to be recorded. This is actually a good way to find out if a picture is fake. If there are planets shown in full sunlight and there are stars in the background, like in movies, there's a high chance this is Photoshop or CGI. To see the problem, try for yourself to take an image of the full moon with the stars in the background. Should be easy, right? There are stars at night and there's the moon. Let me know how you did. Note that modern cell phones might be able to do that, but they are cheating. They combine three different exposures and create a new picture out of it. It is called an HDR image. So make sure to turn the HDR functionality off if possible. Actually, I could not find a single image with the full moon and stars that I could confirm as real. Let me know if you were successful in finding one. There have even been discussions recently about Huawei's P30 cell phone with its awesome camera. It is said that the moon mode produces an optimized artificial image of the moon. I don't know if that is true, but I got one and I will test that. NASA admitted all images of the Earth are photoshopped. If Earth had a diameter of a basketball, Earth orbit would be not even a centimeter from its surface. Which means it is impossible to get an image of the whole Earth from there. That means for a long time, images from satellites had to be stitched together. The only images we had were the ones that the polar astronauts shot with Hasselblad cameras on their way to the moon. Anyway, since 2015 we have a satellite positioned at the Lagrange L1 point, which is about 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. It can take images of the whole Earth all the time, without the need for stitching. The link is in the description. Neil deGrasse Tyson said the Earth is pear-shaped. Wikipedia says it's an oblate spheroid. On images it is round. What shape is it now? The Earth is an oblate spheroid, which means it is slightly wider at the equator than at the poles. But let's not stop asking there and have a look at how much. It is 43 kilometers of 12,742. This is hardly visible. So by all means a sphere. When Neil deGrasse Tyson said pear shape, he was referring to the effect being slightly more below the equator, which is even less visible. I know these questions will just be answered for those who are interested in finding out the truth and not just confirming their beliefs. Conspiracy theorists will tell you to be skeptical regarding everything except their claims. I tell you to be skeptical towards everything, even this video. Please don't take your information from social media. Always apply some reason. 
What is more reasonable? Science that built the computer you're typing on lying to you or a random person from the internet with unknown astronomical expertise? I think the real conspiracy theorists are putting a lot of effort in constructing the models, but they are blindly followed by a lot of people who just spend their time spreading a lot of short sentences without content. When I think about the real conspiracy theorists, I do not see a stupid person. I see a lost scientist.